Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning coordinator for Framework Tutorial. This is our part number 21. Inside this video session, guys, we are going to discuss about Form Helper. Now, if I back to Editor, this is our site controller routes.php and user model. So far, we had discussed about the great details of database connectivity as well as how can we operate with the database queries. Now inside this, we are going to start all about form helper. By the help of some available functions of form helpers, we will use inside our application and will create a form. So let's first define a method inside this public function and let's say that this is our first method of form helper and I call it as my form. So this is done view and inside this we are currently inside site controller and the file name is something my hyphen form now if you save this change copy the name press ctrl b go inside views folder go inside site folder because this is the file we are going to create inside this site folder so here is the site and I'm going to create called my-form.php Now inside this file, we are going to use and create a form by the help of form helper available functions. Either we can use HTML elements. Also as we know, we have form tag. By the help of form tag, actually we can create our form input fields. Inside this form, we can take like input type text box, input type text area, as well as a submit button. But these are the things we are going to create by the help of some helper functions. And those helper functions are available when we use form helper. Using HTML form elements, how can we operate? We will see also this concept in the next videos. Now inside this, we are going to use form helper. So first of all, we need to load that. And same, we need to go inside base controller because base controller is the parent controller we have seen. Here it is. And go inside here, what we have loaded called URL. And this is all about HTML helper. So right now we have inside this helpers array, we have URL and the HTML. So far inside this course, we have used these. Now inside this, simply we need to write call form here. Save this change. Go inside this controller. Successfully we are calling this view file. Go inside this view. Now we are able to use all about the helper functions. So first of all, we need to open our form. So for that, what I will use form underscore open function now if i create some zoom this is all about form open now inside this first parameter we need to pass our admin route it means the action value so for now let's say that it is going to hit inside site and the same method what we have created called my form here i am pasting only for the testing purpose in the next, we need to pass the other attributes. So what I want, if I back to slide, open a new tab. We want something. Here we need to write a form. Inside this, already we had defined all about this action attribute. Inside this, we had taken call admin. And this is something, my form. Other attributes, I am talking something like we have a class. We have ID we have something like method and so on so rest all of these attributes we are going to pass inside this second parameter so let's say that we have a class and this is my hyphen form also we have an id so inside this id simply let's say my hyphen form now save all these changes so here we have opened our form it means we have successfully created our opening form tag now next we need to close that so to close that we need to use call form close function and here it is save all these changes back to routes.php let's create a route to open our form 
and it will be something my hyphen form it will go inside site controller copy this method name and pasting it here what I will do simply copy this route name back to browser need to type call index.php and this is all about my hyphen form and it is not finding and I think that the project URL is not perfect back to directory and this is CI hyphen 4 back to browser and the project URL is actually invalid pressing enter CI4 they say something again back to directory and this is app2 so instead of app1 this is app2 pressing enter and nothing coming inside this output screen and it's because we have declared only this form tag so if I press Ctrl U to get the source code now inside this source code look at this opening of form tag and closing of form tag now inside this we have an action attribute what we have defined inside this first parameter inside second parameter we have a class called my hyphen form and as we can see here this is id also we have added and rest all the parameters automatically managed by form open function and this is form closing tag is only by the help of this form close function now inside this let's create our input type text box so how can we create simply we need to use a function called form input the intellisense says that inside this form input function we need to pass the first the data and the second we need to pass the value so inside this first parameter simply in terms of data i will pass the name attribute so txt underscore name save this change now if i back to browser reload this page and inside this code as you can see that we have input type text we have name equal to txt name keep in mind this is the name attribute what we have passed here now if we pass the another value here suppose something i am simply passing my name inside this second parameter save this change reload and as we can see that inside this value attribute we are getting the value what we have passed but in some cases we also want more fields inside this like class id placeholder so how can we manage that either we can create a variable what i mean simply create a php tag and let's say that name underscore attributes defining an array and inside this simply let's say that name attribute is something txt name its value should be something like the static name i am passing here let's say placeholder is something like say inter name also we want a class something my class and also i want id so let's create an id so it is my id simply copy this array variable remove all these parameters from here and simply pass it here save all these changes go and reload this page now we can see that we are getting all the attributes inside this text box also if you go to the front end reload that and here we are getting simply a value and this is behind the scene we have a placeholder let's create a text area so what i will do simply first of all let's create our text area attributes so text area attributes and inside this create an array simply i'm going to pass all these values inside this let's say this is all about txt address we don't want the static value enter address this is all about my addr copy this name pasting it here and finally what i will do let's say echo form underscore text area this is another helper function which is used to create text area using this function and inside this function simply look at its intelligence 
inside this we need to pass the data here data is mixed data mixed data means that we are passing all the values at once so what I will do copy this array variable and passing it here save this change go and reload this page and as we can see that we have a text area go to source code reload here and inside this text area we have all the attributes what we have set by using our array variable by default this text area has taken the value of calls equal to 40 rows equal to 10 if you want to customize this value also we you can pass these attributes inside this array variable so simply we have input type we have text area in some cases if you want to use about hidden fields we have the helper function called echo form hidden inside the same we need to pass the name so simply let's say input type hidden in the next value we want the value of this field the first parameter we have passed the name attribute and my let's say secret value now if we save this change go and reload this page now we are getting an input type hidden field txt hidden and this is the value why we should use this hidden field if suppose you are using any framework then you might heard about the concept of csrf token so in hidden fields actually we will pass some hidden values now finally let's create a submit button because already we have inside this form or input type text box a text area now we want a submit button so what i will do echo form underscore submit and inside this function simply we can see that this is mixed type data attribute here we have the value and the extra fields so what i will do simply we need to define the first parameter as the name attribute simply let's say btn submit and the button value we want something the submit here save all these changes go and reload this page here we have the submit button go to source code and here as we can see that we are getting type equal to submit name equal to btn submit and here we have the submit value so this is all about guys that is how can we use form helper in codeigniter 4 simply you need to load first of all this form helper inside this helpers array if i suppose if i forgot to add this helper inside this array go and reload this page and as we can see that we have called to undefined function called form open because all the functions what we have inside this view file is simply coming from that helper so here we have form open form input form text area form hidden form submit and form close in the next video we will discuss something more helpers inside this course so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day